This show is proudly brought to you by the Hashtag Me Network. And now, Hashtag Radio NZ. Slash art dash art slash art dash art slash art dash art slash art com dot com dot com dot 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 com slash art dash art Welcome along to Hashtag Radio for episode 100. Woohoo! Well and on this week's um, cultured roundup of web tech, social media and gaming, we've got some stuff from E3. Pretty yeah. much. And that's... That's about all we needed this week, really. Yeah, it's a few other things, but it's e- predominantly E3. Yeah, E3's been a little bit full on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what better way to celebrate our 100th episode than to talk about just video games? Mm. Pretty much. Congrats, guys. You've done 100 episodes. That's awesome. Yeah, we've done well. It's hard to believe we worked it out 102 weeks we've been doing the show. Yes. We've missed two episodes in the entire... Which is one a year. That's not a bad average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... That's, oh, that's a dedication to us. It is. We're, so we're pretty it, committed now. Does it equal to 100 hours of at Fitmic Awesome talking? Ooh, just about. Yeah. Of recorded talking. Almost. <laughs> Almost. I've, we were talking about it just before we started the show. I think I've missed three episodes. You've yeah. done 20, Chris. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. missed probably half a dozen or so. Yeah. Are we, are we, count, are we counting... Your uh, absent. Yeah, that's what we're counting—a half a dozen or so. Yeah, how many, I'm trying to, how many weeks were you away from the show? Only, only wasn't a long. Few, because then we started. He, we started broadcasting from Australia. Yeah, yeah. I I tuned back in via the interwebs. Yeah, and you became mm-hmm. tran, trans trans Tasman, Maddie. Yes. Yeah. I thought you were going right. to say Tranny Tas. <laughs> tranny <laughs> Tranny, tranny Maddie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you stop it. So yeah, well done guys, 100 episodes Yes, I'm excited Yeah 100 episodes Well we better make which, this a good one then we Which better. means we've got a birthday show coming up very soon as well Exactly, two big one, two big uh, milestones this month <laughs> 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 Woohoo, I'm Two big stoked. milestones in one month <laughs> Finn's struggling to get his mouth around that Yeah, two big ones yeah. Yeah. Uh, Officially the 26th <laughs> of um, June is our birthday But I think 29th is the closest day So that'll be our birthday show there, thereabouts. I haven't looked at the calendar, which is up on the wall. Nice. Nice calendar. 27, 28, 20, 28. That's an Assassin's Sunday. Creed no, 28th. calendar. 28th. Yeah, it's an Assassin's Creed calendar. Wow. Because we're all about the gaming around here. We are. As you sit next to a Star Wars poster. Yeah. Which is more movies. Yeah. Anyway, it must be time for us to get into the news. I think so. And now the news with Carice McAwesome. All right, so taxis. Yes, taxis are cars. Yeah, taxis and cars. Well, in the EU, they've launched one of their biggest protests against popular app Uber this week. In London, taxis consistently went around Trafalgar Square, hooting their horns each time as they passed Downing Street. Paris taxis slow traffic on major roads, and Berlin, who has a history of blocking, hashtag don't mention the war, blocks the main road, causing commuters to walk or use buses and trains. Uber, which was valued last week at $18.2 billion, has pissed off taxi drivers, as Uber links to GPS systems to locate app users and have a nearby car pick them up. Taxis inevitably have seen the app as an assault on taxi drivers' livelihoods. And I think we'll see this trend growing around the world, to be honest. So it's it's hook up a mate who's on Uber. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's how Uber works. Yeah, I know. Mm. But taxi drivers are getting really shitty over it because... Um, they own business. The roads. Yeah. And they, they actually, the response was, their official response, this is an attack on our livelihoods and profession. Right, Is They're reacting the same way the music industry reacted 10 years ago. I don't know why they just haven't adopted it. Yeah. Why don't they just adopt all, Uber? All, if all of them join Uber. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> but, oh well. True that. Um, Twitter is going through a shake-up from the top, a result of its not-so-fancy growth, and the role of COO may be disestablished. Oh, well. Wow. 
Twitter aren't letting any little birdies say anything, but rumours are that some birds may already be flying the nest in preparation for this huge restructure. So is it going to mean any any changes at the, the bottom end where we all feed? Well, it, it has been said that shit rolls downhill. Yeah, but I, I don't think we'll see anything. I don't think they could change it too drastically without killing it. No. No, I don't think they'll kill it, but it's going to be interesting to see the new direction of Twitter because it will have oh, to take a new direction. Naturally, it'll bring a new management which will want to put their own stamp on it. Yeah, and Twitter actually has been investing largely in um, technology regarding advertising. Yeah, and we all love advertising. Mm. Um, the EU Commission has upped the pressure on the countries Ireland, Netherlands and Luxembourg over their corporate tax havens, which see companies like Apple, Facebook, Starbucks and Google slash tax bills through convoluted structures. Um, you know how you see like Facebook, I think, is also there. It has yeah. a Dublin office and in France as well. Yeah. yeah the whole idea is to avoid um, large tax bills. Yeah, yes. uh, Apple are also based there. Yes. Or the financial side. Yeah. Well, it's EU that's struggling at the moment under the current economic world <laughs> pressure. Um, but these big companies are making massive, massive amounts of dollars. Massive amounts of dollars? Massive amounts of dollars. And whatever else they have over there, what, what euros? Mm. Mm. And stuff? Oh, well, because the structure is so Pounds. complex. Yeah, the structure is so complex. So, like, it must be a nightmare just to investigate it. How it's all getting shipped around from all the world, all around the world, all the way back into Ireland. Like a place like Ireland, which has a massive unemployment rate at the moment. To know that there's this big companies that's actually saving money by being there. Must kind of piss them off a bit. Yeah, mm. fair enough. Um, big data. Remember that buzzword? Big data, yeah. Do you want to see my big data? <laughs> no. Um, no. It, it's commonly used to explain large amounts of collected data, which is too hard to sort out. Well, MasterCard has actually found a way to sort out that data and has made hundreds of millions by selling its um, data, this mind data, um, to retailers, banks and governments. MasterCard. So what, what data is it that they're selling to these outfits? Um, trends. Biotrends. They said that it was Biotrends um, products. It was a spike in Christmas tree sales around Christmas. December. Mm. Um, and what else? Oh, economic. It's a combination of all sorts of different, um, I want to say data, but I'm saying that word too much. Information. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that <laughs> word. <laughs> So, so it's like trends, um, what they're buying, how they're buying it, where they're buying it from, what the climate, clim, climate, climate, climate is like <laughs> in the country. <laughs> she was trying to say a different word there. I think. Yeah. I think so. But we'll go with climate. What's in your mind, Chris? Climate, <laughs> climate change. No, but that's what. Um, Mastercard has actually been selling. They've actually increased their revenue by fourteen percent, jumping it, I think, to sixteen point two billion in the first quarter. Oh, not a bad bit of money. Mm, just from data selling info. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's I'll, not. I'll check under the couch. There's a lot of for Excel. Some data. There's a lot of Excel um, <laughs> forms there. Amazon is planning to launch a marketplace for local services. Think babysitters to lawnmower people, clowns to painters. Amazon's local marketplace will mi- mimic its approach to grocery delivery. First by rolling out in Seattle, then San Francisco, and then LA. And if all goes well, the rollouts will span across the US before international marketplaces will be introduced. Oh, well. So clown painters. Now, do they come around and honk their noses and paint your walls? Or do they come around and paint clowns? Well, Amazon, you'd be able to find somebody who could do all of that. Ah, that's convenient. Mm. Um, a local service that should probably be aware that this will affect them is, in New Zealand at least, would be Trade Me. Oh. <laughs> oh, physical violence in the studio. That's good to see, guys. No, because Trade Me, Amazon would 
if Amazon was to start launching this um, across the globe. But Trade Me doesn't really have that much in the way of those sort yeah, of services they do. on there, do they? Yeah. yeah. You can advertise services on there. Well, they're but not trade doing very well if I'm not even familiar with it. Yeah, mm. exactly. They, I don't think they've put a massive emphasis on it, but yeah. it's no, always but been trade me, yeah, trade me is the local marketplace, is our local marketplace. Amazon would look to be capitalising on their market. Mm. It's the whole garage sale thing, which Trade Me specialises in. Okay. And that's the news. Awesome. Fantastic news. You know, we've got heaps of gaming news to get through this week. We have. So we've I got- think it must be time for a break before we get into it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, first song I want to play this week is actually a Lily Allen song. Nice. Yeah, and it's completely going to fit in with the show. Uh, she's just released this new song, and it's all about internet trolls. URL Badman. Mm. Here's Lily Allen. You're on Hashtag. I work at home in my parents' basement I don't troll, I make statements I'm not a cliche, sitting in my PJs Double cupping at lunch on a Tuesday I'm like Drake C, so don't hate me I get vexed if you don't appreciate me Real talk, I put the world to rights And when I'm a big boy, I'm gonna write for Vice It's not for me, it must be wrong I could ignore it and move on But I'm a broadband champion A URL bad man And if you're trying to call Short shorts with conviction Supreme Palace, APC Scissor up in a chalice, yeah, that's so me I'm a London white boy rapping ATL Keyboard warrior that can't spell I don't like you, I think you're worthless I wrote a long piece about it up on my WordPress It's not for me, it must be wrong I could ignore it and move on But I'm a broadband champion A URL bad man And if you're trying to call it off I'll have to take it all away I'm a space ghost perpetrator, but I'm half a violator. Check the title of the creator, blogger's favorite vindicator. ASAP Kanye XX remix. Mike Jones, Paul Wall, I need a cleaner. I don't like girls much, they're kind of silly. Unless, of course, they want to play with my willy. Welcome back to Hashtag Radio. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our 100th episode, and I am stoked for you, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that you could join us this week. I'm really happy I could be here. <laughs> it's good for me to be back too. Yes. Sorry sorry to the listeners for subjecting you to a whole hour of McAwesome last week. Hey, that was some was really good music choices. <laughs> How was your wedding? My wedding? Yeah. Um, well, it wasn't my wedding. Oh, because it's not what we told everybody. I know. I heard the show. <laughs> uh. yeah. But um, no, I've been happily married for a long time to the lovely V8 Gen Gen. And I was taking part as the best guy at the uh, the wedding. You're the, the top day. dude. So shout out to Patty and Dell. Happily married. Woohoo! Woo-hoo. Congrats, guys. 
A whole well week. Done. A whole week of marriage. Well done. That's an achievement there. Oh. Mm-hmm. Think of a way to celebrate, guys. Anyway, back to E3. E3. I got up early in the morning for this. Y- well, you told me you were going to, but I haven't seen any proof. No. Have a look at my Twitter account. There you go. Oh, yes. I was tweeting, live tweeting. I, I may have scheduled those tweets so it looked like I was awake, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, then how could you schedule them if you didn't know what was coming up? This is a good point. Or did I have insider knowledge? Did you? No. That's very unlikely. No. <laughs> anyway, so um, 4.30 in the morning on Tuesday? Yes. I think it was Tuesday yeah. morning, yes. Tuesday morning. Um, got up for the Xbox announcement. It started off with the Xbox One first. Yep. Um, and this year they <laughs> have decided that they're not doing any hardware stuff. No hardware stuff. No hardware announced at all. Well, what does that leave? Um, just games. Just games. Just games this year. Um, they see so they announced previous to E3 all of the updates to uh, the firmware and all that. Prior to? Prior to E3. Yes. Um, which I was surprised about, you know, you thought they'd have all their big announcements and stuff as part of it, but they've decided, no, not about the machine this year, that was last year. Yep, we've got the machine. Yeah. What can we do with it? Yep. Uh, so they kicked it off this year. First game out of the box was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Does look pretty cool. Is it? Does it mean it's more advanced? Very much so. Well, you know, warfare started out with um, sticks and ste- uh, spears. Yep, I suppose a pointed stick. Yes, bare knuckles. Yep. Um, Semi naked men groping each other. Mm. Oh, it's like wrestling. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's wrestling. Mm. Anyway, um, Call of Duty. That is not the first time we've seen this game. Uh, but it's the first time we've seen uh, some extended gameplay of it. How was it? Pretty good. Pretty um, good. To be honest, I think they've taken a lot of cues from um, Titanfall. Oh, yeah? Mm. Um, there's going to be wall running and all that sort of thing as part of it. Ah. What? Yeah. Wall running? Yeah. What Parkour is- soldiers. Yeah, oh, pretty okay. much. Uh, Jetpacks and stuff. Jetpacks. That's it's advanced warfare. Yeah. Mm. Um, but uh, the biggest piece of information they did announce as part of the Xbox launch is it's going to, going to have DLC available via Xbox One first. Uh, so, so they get the exclusive on the um, on the release date. Yes, um, for the DLC. So if you've got a PS4 or um, PC, you're going to have to wait until later on to get the exclusive DLC. Yeah, I think it's been the same with um, Ghosts. Uh, it's pretty Xbox much been the, the same with Call of Duty for a while with the 360. Yeah. Um, Microsoft's always had their foot in the door first. Indeed. And then after the whiz-bang of that, they jumped into a car game. Tell me more. Yeah. Um, Forza? Forza 5? Uh, well, first they actually announced um, that they were going to be doing Forza Horizon 2. Yes. Um, nothing really... Out there with Forza and Horizon Two, Horizon Two, um, pretty much I, the same game. I disagree. Game. Oh, see, I think it's <laughs> the, sa- the same game repackaged. HD. Forza Horizon Two is going to bring us over two hundred cars, an open world that you can drift, drag, and cruise around, crash through fences, drive through forests, find hidden cars and barns. Ooh. It's going to be fantastic. Well, the last one was pretty much open world, wasn't it? Not to the same degree. Okay, so you can go off the street now. Yes. Yes. Whereas the other one, you were restricted, weren't you? Yeah. To and the I roads? think um, uh, GTA V has had a lot to do with this. Yeah. Um, yes. With the ability to go anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's a few other games that were announced by other companies and stuff throughout E3 as well that I think have taken cues from uh, GTA. Indeed. We'll get to that later, though. We will. Um, just quickly, while we're on on the Forza side of things, Forza Five. Uh, getting the Nurburgring. That's a big one, eh? What? What's this Nurburg? You don't Nürburg. know the Nurburgring. It's one of. I the don't most, know climate, so one of the most famous race tracks on the planet. Have you never watched Top Gear? Yeah. You've you've seen it before. You must have. So the company that makes the game, Turn Ten, have put in an amazing thirteen thousand man hours into bringing this track to Forza Five. They've digitally scanned the entire 16-mile circuit, Whoa. including 26,000 trees that you can ignore as you happily blast around the track. 
And um, oh my the, goodness, the best part is it's a free download, and available yeah. straight away, isn't it? Yeah. So if you've got um, fours or five. Boom. Jump in and download the Nürburgring. Yeah. Uh, next game to be announced was uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm not a massive Assassin's Creed fan. Um, but I've Unity, got the calendar. Unity looks awesome. Um, it's an online multiplayer game. You can uh, get a team of four or five dudes together and go assassinating as a crew. It looked awesome. <laughs> is this the one that's set in France? Yes, it is. We... During the French Revolution? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome game. It, d- it does look amazing, I think. So is it the only addition is that it's multiplayer now? And it's fully HD and awesome. Oh, yeah. But the, adding the multiplayer aspect into Assassin's Creed is quite a big jump from Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. I'd be interested to see if fans actually enjoy that. Um, and the next one that they announced that I thought was really cool, this game... Um, I'm trying to look for the name of it because I'd never heard of it until now. I'm always nervous when Fid says that he's looking forward to something because mm. we often look forward to different things. Yeah. <laughs> Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Uh, it's like a first-person shooter, except it's just crazy as shit. Why? Uh, the announcement said, <laughs> don't you wish you could blah, 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 blah. No, um, I don't. And no, 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 yeah, going on about <laughs> things that you may have wished you could do. Yeah. And of course you can now, because it's a game. Uh, that hasn't a, sold it to me. Uh, well, we cool don't game. know what the things were, because yeah. you said blah, 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 blah. It's a first-person shooter, but it's just a bit more tongue-in-cheek than... Don't like, you wish you had... So what, a cross between GTA V and Call of Duty? Pretty much. So you just go around shooting people? Very much. Like the artwork as well is very similar to GTA as well. Yeah, I yep. need to know the gameplay here. So The gameplay is probably more like um, Call of Duty. So you get cool But with guns. the attitude of GTA. So you can shoot everybody. Well, that sounds ideal. Yeah. So take a first person shooter and then just make it sarcastic as crap. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. I still don't know why you're excited. It just sounds like a crap I, game to I don't, me. I'm not a big first person shooter fan. But I like a good sarcastic <laughs> fun game, and I think they've taken the fun aspect and put it into first person. So is it going to be like multiplayer, like yes. like GTA, where you can run around together and yeah. um, do all that kind By of the looks of it, stuff? yeah. Um, Fable, Legends, meh. Meh. Doesn't really grind my direction, that one. No. I thought Fable would bloom more of a PC. Uh, it's been on the Xbox for the last couple of generations. Is it? I think it first yeah. launched on the original Xbox. Not taking anything away from no. fans of the of the, um, the Is franchise. It very popular? It's just something that I don't think any of us find exciting. No. Is it very maybe, maybe because we're old. Artistically, like from a visual point of view, it looks like a beautiful game. Yeah. Is there much of a fan base on the consoles for Fable? Fable I has a so, very loyal yeah. fan base. It's just none of us are in that said fan base. I don't think I've ever met anybody in that said fan base either. Who've no. gone, oh my God, have you seen the your new brother. Fables out on console? Have I talked to your brothers? But he, they're PC. No, they play it on Xbox. Yeah, they will play it on anything they can play it on, yeah. those boys. <laughs> now, the big announcement of the day, of course, uh, they showed the first trailer for Halo 5 Guardians. Master Chief. Master Chief, they didn't give away a hell of a lot about what the game's going to be. Maybe that there's a new bad guy after him. Oh, yeah? So we're still still up in the air what the story's going to be with Halo 5, but it looks amazing. But that led into that they're releasing every single Halo numbered edition. So Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4 on the Xbox One in a box set called the Master Chief. You counted. I'm so proud. <laughs> the collection. Hmm. The Master I love, Chief collection. Uh, I, love the, uh, the I couldn't remember exactly what it was called. It's called the Master Chief Collection. collection. Yeah, Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, HD remakes of all four games. Um, I think Halo 1, 3, and 4 are just upscaled. Yeah. But they've rebuilt Halo 2 from scratch. Oh, nice. Now, Why did they rebuild Halo 2 from scratch? Because it's the 10th anniversary of Halo 2 this year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as well as... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> as well as getting those four games, you're also going to get um, the new series yep. um, on a disc as part of it. Cool. And you're going to get access to the Halo 5 beta when that is launched. Oh. 
that would make quite a good gift. Oh my goodness. Mm. When, is this, when are they saying this is going to... My wife has a birthday coming up. Mm. Mm, she would mm. love Halo. Mm. When is this getting released? This is getting released at the end of this year. There's cute. This one's November. Oh, that's too far away. Just in time for Christmas. We should do a Watch Dogs on this to see if it actually comes out in time. Well, there's a lot of games these days that seem to be missing the mark and getting pushed back. Yeah. I'm picking this is going to be one of those games that What, doesn't... Halo 5 or yeah. Master Chief Edition? Master Chief Collection. Halo 5. We'll see. We'll see. Watch this space. Yeah. Uh, Watcher 3, this game here actually did look pretty cool. Um, What's the basic premise of Watcher 3? Um, Similar to Watcher 2 and 1. <laughs> <laughs> Only three times. From what I can yeah. gather, because I've never played 1 or 2. Oh, how sad. So it's some sort of dude who hunts down mythical creatures. As you do. Yeah. Like unicorns and stuff. <gasps> um, well, in the thing, it was no. why we play a game where you get to shoot unicorns. No, why would you want to kill the pretty unicorns? It's just a horse with a bloody horn on its head. Yeah. You don't see those around every day now, Pooping do you? rainbows everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after that we got the uh, announcement of a couple of reboots as well. Okay, sorry for um, the increase. We're not taking things seriously. Uh, no, new Tomb Raider. Oh! Oh, Tomb Raider. So, <laughs> whoa, hold up. Tomb Raider, she's my girl. Yeah. Your Lara Croft. Yeah. yeah. And well, I'm... You look a bit Lara Crofty, don't you? Yeah, with just I don't have the same size boobs. Mind you, I don't think any human woman does. Well, she doesn't have those boobs anymore. They've cut her down to a more realistic size. It's got them framed in his bedroom. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So I wasn't entirely happy with what happened with the Lara Croft Tomb Raider series. This is the second episode of the reboot. Okay. So this is her young again? Yeah. Yeah. Still? Because this is a complete... It's still pre her um, being excited about Tomb Raiding. She still hates it. Oh, okay. So. I didn't realise she hated raiding tombs. Well, we didn't well, find is, that out until the, the reboot started. This is, a, yeah. Jeez, but, I don't pay much attention, do I? No. Yeah. Because Tomb Raider's gone through a reboot. Dazzled by boobs. Yeah. <laughs> which is a completely different story. It's a completely different arc. Yeah. So, we're getting a, a second episode of that. And this fa- is a big list of games. For I know. And Phantom Dust, which is one I've never even heard of the original. Phantom Dust. Yep. Sounds like a wrestling name. Apparently it was an original Xbox game. <laughs> the tag team. Yeah. Phantom Dust. You notice there's been two wrestling references made in the show and neither <laughs> of them have come from me. <laughs> oh, I know. How sad are we? Because I used to always talk about wrestling references and whatnot. And whatnot. And whatnot. Um, and yeah, and the other uh, big announcement was um, Project Spark is ready. Yes. And it's coming and... When are they going to spark it up? It's ready now. Mm-hmm. You, it's can been now, you can now get Project Spark for your Xbox One. Sure. That's pretty cool. Is that the Highly recommend. your E3 gaming rant? That's it. Because I had some gaming news as well. But we'll come back after the break and do that one. Um, we've still got Sony and Nintendo to go through. We've still got a fair what? bit of stuff. Yeah. Nintendo? Yeah. What's a Nintendo, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me blow this cartridge and tell you. All righty. Well, I'm blowing off the cartridges. We'll go to a song. We will. Oh, the song Ooh. is. Woo! It was a YouTube hit without really wanting to be a hit. I'm nervous. You should be. It's um, Snoop Dogg with Psy with Hangover. Hangover, 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 hangover. Party's over. It ain't over. Try to make a bag of memory over and over. Hangover, 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 hangover. Over, hangover, 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 over. Party's over, over. it ain't over. over. Can't I find a single piece of me? Game over. Hey! Over. Hey! Drink to your drunk smoke like a broke stove. 
don't quit, take flight. I can't remember last night. It's I, right. this the life of a superstar. Sci fi with that boy trooping hard, cooping cars, Snoopy hard in the pit. Drink another cup until I fall flat. All that and then some. One five one done dilly. Really for show that I'm towed back. Intoxicated change over game over hangover faded. Body shit miss. That you love it, yes. Back with a more check, yes. Catch a lady by the toe. I'm your boom and yep, a boy to catch it. But I'm pretty bold. Drink it up and get sick. Bottoms up, get wasted. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. Oh my god, dude. There's no fucking limit. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. But I can't stop. Making bottles pop until the wheels fall off. And I can't quit. I wake up in the morning, do the same shit. Wake up in the morning, do the same shit. Hangover. Hangover. Shaking the fleas, caking and baking, raking the cheese. Early in the morning, in the bathroom, on my knees, tipping and dripping, flipping the flow, whipping and dripping the drink on the floor. This is the only way that I was taught a long time ago. So Korea, you'll see a Giga like me. Never would they never be another like here. G A N G S T A, nothing left to say. I just smoke my whole day. Baby, not as she hum. Hey, also not as she hum. Hey, cause she got cause she can't go. She can't go. Just cause she can't. Man, it ain't up that era. More get the net, but that era. Man, it ain't not an owner that all the back from all up. Drink it up and get sick. Bottoms up, get wasted. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. Oh my God, dude, there's no fucking limit. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. But I can't stop making bottles pop until the wheels fall off. And I can't quit. I wake up in the morning do the same shit. Hangover. Waking and baking, shaking the fleas, caking and baking, raking the cheese. Early in the morning in the bathroom, on my knees, tipping and dripping, flipping the flow, whipping and dripping the drink on the floor. This is the only way that I was taught a long time ago. So Korea, you'll see a Giga like me. Never would they never be another like here. G A N G S T A. Nothing left to say. I just smoke my whole day. Hangover, 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 hangover. Drink it up and get sick. Bottoms up, get wasted. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. Oh my God, dude, there's no fucking limit. Pull it up, drink it up, live it up, give it up. But I can't stop making bottles pop until the wheels fall off. And I can't quit. I wake up in the morning do the same shit. Hangover, 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 hangover. Party's over, it ain't over. Try to make a back of memory over and over. Hangover, 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 hangover. Party's over, it ain't over. Can I find a single piece of me? Game over. Hashtag radio is dead. Welcome back to hashtag. I'm Fit McAwesome. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> We're brought to you by the Advanced Training Academy. You can check them out at ata.ac.nz and sign yourself up to some courses if you're sick of high school and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Who isn't? Um, anyway, on to PlayStation. PlayStation. Um, we've, really? Yep. We're, we're, I'm a fan of Sony. Yeah. We're, we've skipped the... Um, Got the new phone. We've skipped oh, you do so. You do have the new phone. I got the new Sony Xperia Z2. Yeah, are you liking it so far? So far, so good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. 5.2 inches of Sony goodness. Ooh. It's a glass phone. It's a glass phone, yeah. yeah. Uh, wait for the lawsuits. Hey, hey. <laughs> we invented glass phones. 
So next week we'll get a full rundown on the experience with your I Xperia. <laughs> Iberia, yeah, yeah, we will check Norse, that out Norse on the uh, on the, uh, the the leading tech website hashtag me dot co dot nz. Oh, nice little plug there. Sorry, Fred, you were saying something. I was saying about Sony as well. Oh, were you talking talking about white phones? White phones uh, at E three, they announced they're releasing a white console. Who? The PS4. The PS4 is going to be coming out uh, as the exclusive PlayStation Destiny bundle. Um, once Destiny is released, <gasps> it's coming out. Destiny with Church can sue them for stealing their name. Mm. It's coming out with a white PS4. Is it? How is that news? It's white. <laughs> it's a different color. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Stormtrooper of... of um, Consoles, really. Yeah, oh, but, nice little analogy but what, there. What do yeah. we think of white consoles? They're cheap and tacky. Why do we think about that? No, about we white don't. Consoles? Apparently, that's what Sony fanboys thought when. Yeah, well, there was a lot of. News was that their reaction about the Xbox One coming out as a limited edition uh, white console yeah. for employees and things like that? And the Sony um, fanboys jumped on it and, and, and crapped all over it, saying it was cheap and plastic and rah rah rah. But now they've changed their tune because they're getting a white, white, white PS4. Yeah. Um, and there's a general which, public release. Which I would love to have one of, by the way. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Sony. Mm-hmm. Um, it would go nicely with my white Sony Xperia Z2. Because <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah. Um, bring back the PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. Who isn't? Um, anyway, on to PlayStation. PlayStation. Um, we've, really? Yep. We're, we're, I'm a fan of Sony. Yeah, we're, we've skipped the. Um, Got the new phone. We've skipped. Oh, you do phone. too. You do have the new phone. <laughs> I got the new Sony Xperia Z too. Yeah, are you liking it so far? So far, so good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Five point two inches of Sony goodness. Ooh. It's a glass phone. It's a glass phone. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, wait for the lawsuits. Hey, hey. <laughs> we invented glass phones. <laughs> So next week we'll get a full rundown on the experience with your I Xperia. <laughs> I Xperia. Yeah, yeah, we will check Norse, that out Norse on Norse the uh, on the, uh, the the leading tech website. Hashtag me dot co dot nz. Oh, nice little plug there. Sorry, Fred, you were saying something. I was saying about Sony as well. Oh, were you talking talking about white phones? White phones. Uh, at E three, they announced they're releasing a white console. Who? The PS4. The PS4 is going to be coming out uh, as the exclusive PlayStation Destiny bundle. Um, once Destiny is released, <gasps> it's coming out. Destiny with Church can sue them for stealing their name. Mm. It's coming out with a white PS4. Is it? How is that news? It's white. <laughs> it's a different color. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Stormtrooper of. of um, Consoles, really. Yeah, oh, but, nice little analogy but what, there. What do yeah. we think of white consoles? They're cheap and tacky. Why do we think about that? No, about we white don't. Consoles? Apparently, that's what Sony fanboys thought when. Yeah, well, there was a lot of. Was news that their reaction? About the Xbox One coming out as a limited edition uh, white console yeah. for employees and things like that. And the Sony um, fanboys jumped on it and, and, and crapped all over it, saying it was cheap and plastic and rah rah rah. But now they've changed their tune because they're getting a white, white, white PS4. Yeah. Um, and there's a general which, public release. Which I would love to have one of, by the way. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Sony. Mm-hmm. Um, it would go nicely with my white Sony Xperia Z2. Because <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah. Um, bring back the PlayStation glory days. Mm, PlayStation. <laughs> 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 um, PlayStation also announced some new games and stuff. Entwined uh, is coming out. Little Big Planet uh, Three. That'll look cool. The, the Little Big Planet games look really cool. I haven't actually ever played one, yeah. but yeah. they have always caught my eye. Yeah, and, and I've thought cool textures that, and stuff. In yeah, there. This, the graphics look wicked. Yeah, uh, Far Cry Four. Dead uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Two. What, what? Come, Dead Island 2 is coming to the PS4. Um, and what was the other big one that they did announce? 
There's going to be some new DLC for Infamous. Oh, Mm. Infamous. It's a cool looking game though. It is a cool looking game. Must get my hands on that. Yeah, definitely. Um, To be honest, like the games and stuff, they're releasing some cool games. Nothing really got me and grabbed my attention. But what did grab my attention was they have announced that PlayStation Now is going to be released across globally. Well, it's PlayStation Now. That you can stream uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games via your PS4. Which so, is pretty cool. What do, you, what do you mean? So all back catalogue games will be online in the cloud, yeah. and you can stream them through your new console and play them. Oh, nice. So you don't have to physically have the games. You can, yeah. it's like Spyro. Than explaining it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cloud-based <laughs> gaming. Um, but the big addition that they did have to this is they're releasing a new piece of hardware for it. Hardware. Um, I thought you said they weren't doing any hardware no, announcements. No, it was Xbox. Three. Xbox did no hardware. Oh. Um, Sony were the only ones that did release some new hardware, and it is PlayStation TV. Uh. Now, look, <laughs> look at it as a small console. You seen it? I have seen it. It's, it's a little um, black box. Yeah, it's it's like quite literally. It looks like a little hard drive. Yeah, it looks like a USB drive, USB hard drive. Yes. So it's it's going to be in competition with the likes of Apple TV. Yes, you're going to be able to stream through it. But the big feature it can do is you can have this little box plugged into any TV in your house. Yeah. And play your PS4 via it without moving your PS4. So your PS4 can stay in the lounge. And if you wanted to go into the bedroom and play PS4. Oh, so you just plug this one into the other TV and it'll stream it from the PS4 in the other room. Yeah, exactly. Magic. It's using the same technology as the PS Vita. So does your, does your control like sync with this device? Yes. So you don't have to sit in the room with the console so that the controller works? Correct. Fantastic. And the other uh, bit of thing that they went into is if you've got a Sony TV... Particular Sony TVs in the current generation of the smart TVs, you all you will need is a PS4 controller. Yeah. And you can sync that with the TV, and you can play the PlayStation Now games on your TV without even having a PlayStation or a PS4 or one of these PlayStation Ooh. TVs. You just need a controller and a TV. I like where Sony are going with this. Oh. Yeah. Having said that, uh, your Xbox One controller will now sync with your PC. Yes, but you your still Microsoft need a PC. Of, you still need a bit of hardware for it. So if you had a Microsoft what, what TV, what hardware do you need? A computer. Oh. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to play your Xbox <laughs> One games on your computer. No, but but you can play. All, if you've all got, your got a computer, now. you can use your Xbox One controller on it. Is the point well, that I was making? Yeah, and the yeah. point I'm making is I think Sony are just doing some amazing things with the streaming. That's network. quite a big jump to start abandoning your console. Yeah, mm. they're providing a service, which means you don't need a console. And I can see in the future this is where it'll be heading. We don't have consoles anymore. Are we going to talk about the Xbox thing where you don't need the console? Go for it. Go. What's the Xbox thing where you don't need the console? Where uh, if you've got a Xbox Live Gold account. Oh, yes. Ooh, the hack. Yes. The, well, the workaround. It's a workaround. I prefer the word workaround. It sounds less illegal. Well, you could do life hack. And then that doesn't sound so illegal. Can we get to that after we've and talked about the two games that they announced during the Sony launch that we all got quite excited about? Okay, then. Mortal Kombat. Go. Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. We talked about this in the show two weeks ago. We said that this was possibly coming. Yeah, yeah, they, with the release of a poster. Yeah, and they released the trailer last week before E3, but we finally got to see some gameplay footage at E3. That's right, and the um, gameplay was on the Sony PlayStation 4, and it was running native 1080p at 60 frames per second. It's looking schmick. It looked bloody good. And if you're awesome. a fan of the old Mortal Kombat... Hmm. Yes. Um, What's not to love about this? It's awesome. I want it. They're bringing back the oh. greatness of Mortal Kombat. There will be um, traditional characters that we that we know, yep. yeah. along with some new characters, um, some of which are children of previous characters. Exactly. That was pretty cool. I know, right? Yeah. Um, Who was that? Cassie Cage. Yeah. 
the daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade. Yeah. Sonya Blade. And she can do moves of both of them. Yeah. Finish him. Oh. I love victory. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. No, that, was, uh, that game just looks absolutely amazing. I loved it how the characters had aged. So Scorpion. Looks old. It's yeah. starting to look a little bit older. And, and the dynamic backgrounds and like walls. See, so like the character can do a bit of a run up the wall and flip yeah. over behind yeah. you and, and stab you in the face. Once upon a time, once you got to the end of the wall, you were just blocked and someone could beat the crap out of you. Yeah. The special moves were fantastic. And the finishing moves and everything else, the blood and gore. Um, with with the big TVs we've got now to play on and the yeah. the full high definition, yeah. it just looks gore-tastic. It does. I really want it. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm assuming it'll be out for Xbox and stuff as well? Yes, it's going to be released across the board. Yep. Um, amazing game. Can't wait for it to come out. And the next one, the next big game that was... Oh, the other big game. Batman Arkham Knight. Ooh. I've been quite keen on this one. I haven't played much at all of the um, the previous Batman games. The, see, the last one I played was the last game on the Alienware computer we got to review. Oh, yes. See, the last game I played was that Digital Nations. Yeah. Yeah. Great games. Um, a big fan of Batman. I'm more than happy for Ben Affleck to take on the Ooh, role. Oh, you're a... Batfleck. Whoa. I'm pro Batfleck. looking forward to it. I like Ben Affleck. Do you? Yeah. You shouldn't have said that on radio. He can mow my lawns any day. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he could definitely mow my lawns, top class. This has really been a day of um, getting to know each other for the first time. A <laughs> <laughs> hundred episodes. A hundred episodes and I'm only just finding out that you're pro Batfleck. Well, there you go. Um, the bad news, though, for the fans of the franchise is that Batman Arkham Knight has been pushed back to 2015 for its release, mm. which is happening far too much these days, and I wish they wouldn't announce release dates if they're not going to honour them. Yeah. But we did have a theory So we're going to put them on the watch, watchdog list? Well, the thing is that the movie comes out next year in, um, what, July or something? June. June, July yeah. of 2015. So, And when's the game, Drew? The game, well, they haven't set a date, but they, it's been pushed back to 2015. So one would imagine it'll be close to the time of the movie. They'll feed off the hype of each yeah. other. Yeah, It'll be good for the box office. It'll be good for the game. Um, good for Batman in general. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't wait. It looks amazeballs. It does. It looks like a really good game. The, um, I, loved the, <laughs> I loved everything about it. The gameplay was just fantastic. Yeah. The graphics look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Smooth. The textured, moves. Deep. Yep. Dark. Gritty. Slick. And it's it's not just Batmaning around. You've got the Batmobile. You're, you're firing missiles. You're punching people in the head. And what about those graphics Gliding on, around the skies. What about those mm. graphics on uh, Scarecrow at the end? Scarecrow looks... The new look of Scarecrow is scary gnarly. as shit. <laughs> Well, harden up, Phil. It's just a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks awesome. I just love that. So, yeah, hanging out for 2015 for the for the Batman extravaganza that we're going to see. Mm. Yeah. I want a t-shirt with Ben Affleck on it. Now, see, I'm going to be going around with Mortal Kombat 10. <laughs> I want the game, Mortal Kombat. I'm going to play that one to death. Yeah. I wasn't but, a uh, huge fan of Mortal Kombat 9. See, I did like it. They brought the feel of Mortal Kombat back to Mortal Kombat in that game. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. The new one looks But 10 feels like Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. 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 It feels more traditional. This is the essence of Mortal Kombat. The essence. So back to the Xbox hacky thing. Oh, the Xbox hacky thing. Yes. yes that we were, we were talking about before and then we didn't talk about it. Yeah, we discovered a loophole in the system if you don't own an Xbox One. If you don't own an Xbox One but you have an Xbox 360... Yep. And you have um, gold account. a Xbox Live Gold membership. It has to be a gold membership. Yes. What you want to do is find a friend with an Xbox One, log in on their Xbox One with your profile. Yeah. Then you can log out and go away. Then you can log out. But because you've then logged into the Xbox One system, mm. um, you can go to the uh, website and you can essentially purchase the free games with gold. Yeah, so every month Xbox release games with gold, two games a month. Is it two yep. games on Xbox One as well? 
Yep, two games a month. Yep. So you get one in the first half of the month, another one in the second half of the month. Yeah. So basically, every two weeks or so, you're getting a new game released for free. Yeah. So if you've done that, you've you've logged in on someone's Xbox One, then you can go to the website. You can download those games. Well, not so much download them. You can purchase them. purchase them. Um, and not even own the console. So later on, when you do get your Xbox One console, you'll be able to download those free games that you purchased and have an entire game library there ready to go. Wow. See, and that's pretty awesome for us because we still haven't committed to a new console yet. No. So in 12 months' time, if we have an Xbox One... We we'll will do in 12 months' time, but it'll be 12 months' time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the thing is we'll start off with 12 months' worth of free games, so we'll start off with 24 games. That's right. That's yeah, pretty cool. Sit down the street with no shirt, offering to mow people's lawns for twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. I could just pump them out. No, we'll have twenty-four games. I won't have to be pumped out. Huh. Yeah, twenty-four games and no console, Fed. Yeah. So we do still need to pump out to get this console. We do need to pump you out. We'll get you a haircut first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually just saying that the other day that I need a new haircut. You do. Yeah. yeah it's well because Fed McAwesome is looking a little bit sheepy. I reckon Fed McMohawk would look pretty cool. Let's do it. Mm. I've got some clippers in the other room. <laughs> anyway, we've still got one company left to talk about. And to be honest, I think we could probably sum this up before the next break. Go. Nintendo. Nintendo released more of the same. Which is good or bad? I think it's bad. Uh, the funny thing is, is Nintendo fanboys are saying Nintendo owned it this year. Um, and I don't think they did. Should we talk about it more after the break? If you want. Yeah. We're going to have to come up with something else to talk about for the rest of the show, though. Yeah. <laughs> I got it covered. Cool. We'll be back after this. You're on hashtag. Put me in a special school. Design such a fool. And I don't need a single book to teach me how to read. Who needs stupid books? They are for petty crooks. And I will learn by studying the lessons in my dreams. So turn off the TV. Cause that's what others see. And movies are as bad as eating chocolate ice cream. They only sicken me. Don't let me play football. I'll sack the quarterback and jack the brother of the ball. I'm a troublemaker. Never been a faker. Doing things my own way and never giving up. I'm a troublemaker. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. 
There's some aggression in the studio. It's a battle to bring us back. It was, and Fid was about to go on about Nintendo, which I might not let him talk about anymore. No, Nintendo, uh, all they've done is release a few more games. Um, no new hardware, which we sort of thought they were going to announce. Um, all we got was like Bayonetta 2. Um, so it's just a bunch of games. Splatoon, which is basically just a paintball game. So it was just a bunch a of bunch games. A bunch of games. For um, kids. New Pokemon. Not yet. Pokemon, no, Pokemon fans will just be like, oh my god, new Pokemon, this is amazing. You've got to catch them all. Yeah. But I was seriously <laughs> looking at it and I was like, meh. Um, a new Yoshi game, which basically is a Yo- Yoshi game. Yoshi? Like, yeah. as in Super Mario's Yoshi? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But it's like Yoshi crossed with um, Little Big Planet. It's all a woolen texture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. A woolen texture. Uh, toad. The Mario character is getting his own game. It's funny because once upon a time, Nintendo, Nintendo's mantra was something about the game. Yeah. It's not about the console. It was all about the game. Yeah. Now it's all about whoring Mario to pieces. Yeah. Well, that's all they've got now. It's like they've gone through this massive creative block. Yeah. I keep hearing all this hype about Nintendo coming back. They're going to be the next big thing, and they just keep fizzing along. I with don't nothing. think they are. Right? Look, they didn't even do a live announcement this year. Everything was pre-recorded. I wonder they had a stage and everything, but then up on the stage they had a big screen and they played a video with their announcement. I wonder if their problem is the same um, issue that they used to have back in the nineties. Nintendo you had this contract which other game companies couldn't write for other consoles. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's now coming to bite them in the ass. Hmm. That having that kind of ethic because they're not getting the cool games from people anymore. Well, I do have an update to Watch Dogs related to cool games and Nintendo. And Go. It's, it's not an episode of Hashtag without a Watch Dogs update. Yep. <laughs> a Watch Dogs update is Nintendo announced at E3 that they will be getting Watch Dogs. Cool. So what's it going to be on? The Wii U. The Wii U. See, previously we thought it wasn't going to be coming out. Yep. We had no idea when. We now have an answer. It is coming at some stage. Oh, nice. Oh, it's another one. Another one's Watch Dogs. That's a typical Watch Dog update. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've got a little bit of Xbox news Ooh. before we finish off with Carice. Yes. As we like to do around here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Xbox One from day one, which I didn't get to experience. Mm-mm. Sadly. But that's a story from another episode. Um, voice control in New Zealand. Xbox Connect voice control. This have you had an issue? This no, has been well, another ongoing segment of Hashtag, I was just going to I was just going to say, have you heard about this issue? Yeah, the lack of voice control in New Zealand? Yeah, in case you'd missed oh. um, one of my 99 previous rants. <laughs> 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 uh, we're getting it. Yay! When? Next when? month, July. Yeah. Are, are we? Is this for real? It's coming to New Zealand. You'll be able to say Xbox, go home. Xbox record. Woo-hoo. Well, they actually do the whole Xbox record thing. I don't know. I, I don't know that it's going to be full features, but we are going to at least get basic voice control to start with. Yeah. Nice. Um, and it's it's been a long time coming, and it's purely down to me. Yeah. Yeah. It um, is. It's purely your voice. Microsoft have tuned into hashtag. They've heard me yep. singing the praises of, of Xbox <laughs> for 99 shows. Yeah, up until this episode where you've just sung Sony's praises. Or <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so now we're getting voice controls and um, thank you. And hopefully, hopefully we, uh, we, we're still reaching out to you, Major Nelson. Yep. Come in, Major Nelson. Do you read us? Ground control to Major Nelson. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to break out in song then. I was, I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're still trying to get hold of him. So um, we did get some progress on that. A little bit. A little bit. So watch the space. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Tweet so. the out of him for us. Yeah. What well, now? Next week we do have of just like literally in the last half hour had confirmation that we will have both Xbox. And PlayStation New Zealand on the show next week. Ooh. Fingers crossed. So we've got both. Oh, it's, it's confirmed, which means we're at about 30% exactly. sure. Exactly. 
They've oh. said that they'll be on the show next week, so we'll have uh, a chat to both Sony and a chat to Microsoft about their releases. Yep, they and, can tell us what they're excited about. And I think we should ask them about these features for voice control, what we are and aren't going to get. Absolutely. Mm, I want to hear from Nintendo. Well, same. They might pre-record <laughs> something and send it through. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, we're just about out of time, so let's throw back to Carice McAwesome. Hello. Welcome. S- Okay, so if Fid is making me do this... I've been looking forward to this for the entire show. Yeah. Um, it was an article I got sent by my boss as to 10 reasons why adults who play video games are happier than everyone else. Yeah. So recent studies have actually shown that adults who play video games have higher levels of happiness and in some cases relaxation. So here's the top 10 Number one, gamers are more connected to the inner child. Few adults do anything playful after work before family, li- family and life in general set in. Gaming adults engage in playful behaviour similar to play as a child, resulting in a happier outlook for Agreed. those adults. Except for when you're getting lag killed. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. it's just rage. And it's rage. Um, two, it is an easy escape from the stress of life. Amen to that. Yeah, because I can't run around in life shooting random people <laughs> and stealing their cars. That's and right. Teabagging them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you can, oh. as an adult on a game, yeah. you are exposed as number three to creator creativity and imagination. Gamers use their imagination to put themselves in the mindset of the character, resulting in higher stimulation and creative exercises. Yeah, well, I love higher levels of stimulation. Mm. <laughs> Um, four, immediately you have something to bond over with strangers. True. Yeah. Gamers find other gamers and will often use... Talk about gaming. Yeah, often use the games that they're playing to find a common ground. Um, number five, more balanced perspective on life. Rather than being totally consumed by bills, gaming adults devote a part of their time to growing up duties and another part to gaming for fun resulting in a more balanced life. I concur. Work-life balance. Mm. Um, then, then when that bill comes in, you just go, oh, the Xbox Live account's coming. Yeah. I, ca- <laughs> I kind of just... nearly due for some new gold. Mm, I kind of dispute number six, which says better hand-eye coordination. Gaming adults have better spatial coordination and fine motor skills. Now, I'm married to Fid McAwesome. <laughs> who Happily kind- <laughs> and for 13 years. Who is a gamer... And, oh, I don't know. I'm not too convinced with the whole hand-eye coordination. And saying that, I am a fan of fighting games, which just involves just bashing my finger on a button yeah, and expecting it to work. Yeah. He's Ex- good at mashing buttons. Yeah, yeah. explains our romance life. Um, <laughs> number seven, gaming adults include spouses or friends in their me time. True. Yeah. Hence, to a degree. Xbox Playdates. I know you boys have them. Yeah, well, I was just about to say that. Like We do. Yeah, we have we our do. play dates with our friends from a, not just in New Zealand. No, we're, we're international. Yeah. Mm. Um, eight, gaming adults always have something to look forward to. Friday night gaming night. Yeah, yeah. Batman Arkham City coming. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mortal Kombat. Woohoo. Uh, number Knight, nine. Sorry. My bad. Gaming adults, if they really wanted to, can turn exercise into a game. Yeah. It's Through your Wii Fit or your Wii Fit. <laughs> or your Connect. <laughs> I own a Wii Fit that I've never taken out of its box. <laughs> ah, that'll mm. be why you're glistening, rippling muscle. Yeah. Yep. And number 10, gaming adults turn boring situations into fun ones by using their handhelds as a chance to level up. That's right. And with all our gaming analogies, I mean, just a simple drive through town can be opportunities to throw sticky bombs out windows. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, look, there's a police. Run yeah. people over. <laughs> yeah. Um, ultimately, the study showed that gaming adults were less likely to be affected by stressful situations at work. Fantastic. Hmm. Anyway, that's been a gaming heavy show this week. It has. I think we'll have to bring a bit more techie stuff yep. next week. Um, hopefully. Along with PlayStation and Xbox representatives. Yeah. Should be an exciting show next week. Mm. Indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in. See you. Bye. Hashtag me.co.nz.